Bob is a very much down-to-earth guy, very thoughtful, very caring. You know, he's a very good vice-chancellor. And from where his background was, come from a small area of the town called Deaton, uh, to where he is today, you know, it's uh, fantastic. Listen to his journey, and I think that's what inspires quite a lot of stuff here. And the winner of the Guardian University Awards 2013 Inspiring Leader is Bob Cryan, Vice Chancellor. Well, being the Guardian Inspiring Leader of the Year, it's just absolutely fantastic. It was totally unexpected. Uh, I was surprised to be nominated. I went along to the event. I sat at the back, not expecting to win. In fact, I'd had bets on a couple of other people winning. And when my name was read out, I just couldn't believe it. And I'm absolutely thrilled to bits. It means a lot to me personally, and it means a lot to my colleagues at the university. Bob's really inspired me personally by being really encouraging in terms of developing myself, being able to take things forward, and having some self-belief and confidence that actually you can achieve things. He's very knowledgeable about the enterprise agenda and he's very passionate about self-development and giving all students and graduates permission to develop themselves and, and that's catching. Actually, I, I came here to the University of Huddersfield to be part of that. I've spoken to other people at the university and teachers, uh, teaching staff, are, even they're inspired because they're about, you know, how is forward thinking in the sense that he wants to build more buildings, he wants to keep the university out of debt. It's won so many awards as a university recently and it's all, a lot of it's down to Bob. Uh, so I think in terms of inspiring people, yeah, very inspirational. He is a great people person. He's actually from Huddersfield. He's a Huddersfield boy through and through and he loves the university and is wanting to take it as far as he can. Um, and since he started, we're just going up and up in the ratings. Um, he's very inspirational. He leads from the front and he encourages people to do the best they can and to follow his example. And I think we all try and strive to that and we're all very proud of him, proud of the university and for what he has made us. It, it was um, becoming a vice chancellor was a, a, a decision I made at a certain stage in my career where I'd done the academic side, really enjoyed that aspect, but wanted to grow as an individual. And I felt the way to grow as an individual was to get more involved on the leadership side. So I started to engage in that. And I found that I really enjoyed it because it gave me an opportunity to shape, first of all, a department, then a school, and then a university. And I get a tremendous amount of reward out of that. The view I have is I trust my colleagues. I trust individuals to do what they need to do. I believe in them and I believe that they'll do things to their best. So the style we have at Huddersfield is very much a devolved style. I devolve things as much as possible out into the university and give people the freedom to grow and develop and leave their area. Uh, the view I have is that if each area has that freedom to develop and grow, they'll be successful in their own right and that means the university as a collective will be successful. So what you'll find about Huddersfield is it's probably more devolved than most other universities in the UK. And I think that's one of the reasons why we're successful at because it's all about inspiring and motivating people and celebrating each other's successes and it's just great fun.